Hey, welcome and thank you for joining me for today's daily devotion. Uh, today I thought we could go to the book of Genesis, one of my favorite books of the Bible, and look at chapter one. Uh, most of us probably know what that chapter entails. Uh, God is telling us the story of his creation. He goes on from day one through six, putting together um, many different amazing parts of our world that we still have the enjoyment of being able to see and be a part of today. Uh, whether that would be the sun and the stars and the moon or the oceans uh, or the uh, land animals or the animals within the water, the clouds, uh, the light, the darkness in the evening, uh, the cool breeze that is within our world. Every single element that God allows us to be able to see. And finally, as uh, creation begins to wind down, uh, God comes up with an idea. At least it seems like that from our minds, that all of a sudden, hey, maybe I should do this. When in reality, I'm sure God had it planned out throughout all of time and actually throughout all of eternity since he is God, since he is all-knowing, all-powerful, and has put his plans into place uh, from the very beginning. And so today, uh, venture back with me is we see this key part of our story uh, the story of humanity and for us as individuals in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, beginning at verse 26. Then God said, Let us make man in our own image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish of the sea, and the birds in the sky, and over the livestock, and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image, in the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. And he goes on to say how God uh, blesses us in so many different ways. And as it goes down to uh, verse 31, we hear the conclusion. Uh, God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. You know, my friend... Uh, actually gave me a little gift the other day just out of nowhere. Uh, he knows that I like uh, vehicles. He knows that I, I like trucks in particular. And this isn't one that I said that I could have maybe a whole lot of interest in right now, but I am maybe curious to see which way it goes. Maybe you are too if you're into vehicles. He got me this little model of the Cyber Truck. Uh, it's going to be Tesla's new invention that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Uh, this one was really interesting. He found a, a metal company that is able to be able to take basically any type of image and kind of break it down and create just a really simple format of what that vehicle or object may look like. And then from there you get this flat piece of sheet metal and you bend uh, the edges together to be able to form what that object looks like. And the image comes out and this is what this one ended up uh, looking like. And I thought about that today when I read that scripture verse from the book of Genesis in which God says, uh, let us make man in our own image and how special that truly is. You know that cyber truck that I have now, obviously it is not the actual cyber truck. It doesn't run like one, it's not the same size as one, but it really is just a, a splitting image of what that truck will be and what that truck, what that truck is. You know, when God creates us in his own image, he doesn't create us to be a God like he is. Uh, he doesn't create us to be all-knowing and all-powerful, to have the same engine that he does. He doesn't create us to have the exact same body that he does. But we have those very special words that he creates us in his own image. And that he creates us, and when he does, he says, you know what, this is, this is very good, a very good piece of my creation. How special is that to be able to daily recognize, acknowledge that we are made in the image of God, that we are a, a model of who he is. And just as you look at any type of model or sculpture, and it has some type of story to be able to tell, uh, something to be able to get across, a message and a story to be able to share, we are the exact same way. That when people see us as Christians in the world, we should be able to put across a certain message to people. Not just physically 
how we look, but most importantly in the things that we say and how we act within the world. And so today, uh, know that you are exactly that, this model of Christ going out into the world. As the Apostle Paul puts it, uh, we are to be imitators of Christ. And so do that today. Imitate our Lord in everything that you do. Remember, we work as though we are not serving man, but know that we are serving our God. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for allowing us uh, just to be a model of who you are, that you have made us in your own image and that you claim us to be your children. Uh, please continue to be able to uh, strengthen us, Lord, and make us uh, strong in your mighty power to be able to share uh, the good news we have received through your Son. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.